Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. And uh, today we are going to uh, learn something in the practical side of uh, making the perfume, right? Uh, do accept my apology for the inconsistency in uploading content. A lot of my work is seasonal based and uh, the recent events shifting and other things, I wasn't able to concentrate more on uploading um, content for you, you know, for my subscribers, I mean. So let's start with something very interesting today. That is making a perfume within 10 materials. I got this idea uh, last month. I was uploading content on my Indian channel. So I got this idea of doing the same thing, uh, some practical, hands-on practical experience uh, while you know making something like an international perfume uh, so let's start with something like tobacco vanny you know we love tom ford why not so we will try to make something like tobacco vanny within 10 materials right so it will be interesting now <clears throat> what we are going to do first is make the cup and we are going to put our fragrance inside this cup. This cup is what we call as the base. And we are going to put this fragrance inside our base. Right? So let's start with the base. The base materials, ISO E Super, 5 grams, Hadion, Five grams, methyl ionone, five grams, and uh, we need benzyl salicylate. Okay, we are making the perfume compound first, and with this, we are going to atomize it into a spray so this is a perfume compound roughly between 40 to 45 grams of perfume compound that's what we're trying to make a benzyl salicylate three grams what else are we going to use for something like tobacco vanny think about it percolate aldehyde C16, actually a lactone, but that's what it's sold as, aldehyde C16. We are going to take one gram. This is going to help you in fixation. With the musks, ethylene brassylate, 10 grams of ethylene brassylate the milky uh, the the milky note kind of a, a milky kind of a note like chai chai you know you have tea so that is what these musks ethylene brassylate use some galaxolite as well five grams galaxolite is of course at uh, I don't know, 10% or 50%. If you, if you understand, galaxolite is uh, always sold in dilution. Galaxolite is one musk, which is sold always in dilution because at room, temp room temperature, it's, it's going to solidify. So either DEP, uh, which is not used a lot these days in fine perfumery, so isopropyl myristate, it's mostly used to dilute something like galaxolite. So now, what is the count? This is our cup. This is the cup in which the fragrance is going to sit inside this cup. ISO E super, hedion, methylionone. These things literally go into every perfume in the world. It doesn't matter which perfume it is. These materials will go into every perfume. So we are creating our cup to make sure 
that the fragments will sit inside this thing. Isosuperhedione, methylionone, benzyl salicylate. Today you will learn, after this experiment, you will learn the importance of salicylates and how to use them in your perfume. So benzyl salicylate, to, get, to give it that balsamic effect and that vibrance when uh, the perfume literally starts. Aldehyde C16, kind of berries, strawberries kind of a thing. It has its own milky tone to it. Aldehyde C16, which will provide wonderful fixation with ethylene brasilate, 10 grams, galaxolite, 5 grams. So what would be the count now? 15, 18, 19, 29, 34 grams. So in our cup, 34 grams is only the base. If you are approaching something like tobacco veni, right? Now, we are going to do accept my apology, the lighting for the camera. <laughs> there are about six lights here, you know, and it makes it a little difficult and hot sometimes, but don't worry about that. So 34 grams is our cup, right? Now we just have to put the smell inside. You got this, of course. <clears throat> so what is the key ingredient in tobacco vanny? Clove oil. This is one thing which makes tobacco veni what it is. So uh, we are going to use, say, five grams. Oh, no, actually make it four grams. Four grams of clove oil. Then cardamom, black pepper, and cinnamon. 0 0.50, 0 0.50, 0 0.50, 0 0.50. That's it. And very something which is like tobacco vanny, that's what you're going to get when you add these materials inside your cup. Always, if you remember one thing, that base is something which is going to hold the perfume from the top note till the dry down, till it comes to the aldehydes and the musks. Base, base is something which is going to hold the perfume for you. And all you're going to do is just fill in the smell. So these materials are enough to give you that tobacco effect. Key player being clove oil. Right? So, of course, this won't be as, you know, the way tobacco vanny is because a lot of other things are also added. But this will get you, say, 95 percent, 90 to 95 percent in that ballpark of something like tobacco vanny. So, uh, guys, I hope you like, you know, this kind of content and uh, do give me some likes if you want more videos like this and uh, i will see you soon in some other video till then take very good care of yourself and i will see you soon <laughs> bye bye bye